eagles soaring <coughs> over your head, or a grizzly bear and her cubs traveling in the snow, African elephants going miles across the Sahara, and now imagine a world where they don't exist. Imagine a world where the only place that a majestic creature like the tiger even exists is in a zoo behind bars. The law that saved the bald eagle and so many other species is now under threat. Our Congress is trying to gut the Endangered Species Act that has helped to save so many iconic species from going extinct. This is an issue that has always held value to me, and over the years I have done extensive research to truly understand this act. This Endangered Species Act is working to protect hundreds of different species that are under threat right now, while the Trump administration is working to undermine the act's effectiveness, which will hurt all of those that rely on its protection. The act is bettering the conservation of America, and we should be strengthening it, not tearing it down. I'm going to discuss what the Endangered Species Act is, the controversy around it, what the government is doing, and why we should be protecting these animals with this law instead. Let's first discuss what the act is and what it entails. A historical article by Aaron Blakemore states that on December 28, 1973, President Richard Nixon signed the Endangered Species Act into law, and since then, it has become one of the most influential environmental laws in our history. President Nixon stated that the great question of the 70s is, shall we surrender to our surroundings, or shall we make peace with nature and begin to make reparations for damage we have done to our air, to our land, and to our water. The Endangered Species Act, or shortened to ESA, doesn't just protect the individual species, but the habitat as well. It creates laws that protect life and habitats, and inhibits the destruction and killing of species and environment in both the United States and abroad. The act has been working to protect species for over 45 years now. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, 99% of the species on the list have avoided extinction. It's quite extensive in the laws and regulations that it fosters, which has allowed so many species to begin population regrowth and regeneration. But its work is not nearly done. Over the years, the ESA has dramatically increased the number of endangered and threatened animals on the list, and only 46 are listed as recovered. As you can see here, this shows from 1967 all the way to 2015, and the red bars show the number of animals on the list, and it's definitely been increasing over the years. An article by Christopher Ketchum discusses the United States Fish and Wildlife Service and the grizzly populations in Yellowstone National Park that have been federally protected since 1975. They were just removed from the government's endangered species list in 2017, which means that they can now be hunted again. They just recovered and now they are right back in danger. So what's the controversy around the act? According to the Endangered Species Coalition, recent polling shows that 84% of Americans support the Endangered Species Act, yet today's Congress is continuing to pass bills that disallow the act to do its job. They say that it's hurting the economy and costing the government millions of dollars. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, for more than 20 years, opponents of the act have sought to weaken it largely because of the restraints that, it put, restraints that it puts on land use. Critics say that the act is ineffective because so many species remain on the list, while supporters say that, that is exactly what illustrates the act's effectiveness and importance. So, is the money, economy, and land worth the extinction of millions of animals that diversify and enrich our world? President Trump and Congress seem to think so. This is a, a short clip from a Fox News interview with Donald Trump. Environmental protection, what they do is a disgrace. Every week they come out with new regulations that make it the environment. environment. They will be fine with the environment. We can leave a little bit, but we can't destroy businesses like that. So I just want to talk about a quote that was just said by President Trump. Environmental protection, what they do is a disgrace. It's a disgrace to pr protect our environment and the life on it because we can't make as much money. Our government is worried about the money that they can gain rather than the species that we will inevitably lose without this act. And because of this, the government is working to undermine the act's effectiveness. They have passed over 20 bills that will hurt endangered species. An article by Daryl Fears discusses the Trump administration's proposal. And if it's passed, it will strip the Endangered Species Act of key provisions. It will cause protection for endangered species to be made only on a case-by-case -case basis. 
They also want the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, along with National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, to remove part of the act that says ignore economic impacts, which means when deciding if we should save and protect the species, we have to think about the economy as well. The proposal also includes the removal of a part of the thing that says to agencies will consult with scientists and wildlife agencies before um, going into ventures such as oil and gas drilling and logging. Bob Dree here is the senior vice president of a conservation program at Defenders of Wildlife, and he stated that the extinction, the wildlife extinction package is an extreme and all-encompassing assault on the Endangered Species Act. So besides the diversity and enrichment to our world that these species provide, why should we, sa why should we be saving them? According to the Endangered Species Coalition, healthy ecosystems set the foundation for our habitats. When a species becomes endangered, it is a sign that that ecosystem is slowly falling apart. Each species that is lost triggers the loss of another, and we as humans depend on healthy ecosystems to filter our environment. Without them, we won't have clean air, water, or land. If we allow our environment to become contaminated, we risk our own health. So what should we do to save these animals? Contact your elected officials. You can call or write to any of the people I have listed here, and for more information, you can check out usa.gov slash elected officials for exactly who to contact and how to go about it. This act is critical in our battle to save our most imperiled species, and I urge you to contact your representatives and ask them to support endangered species protection. They won't make it without our help.